Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review of the Morphe 35M palette for you. I haven't used it yet, I've swatched it a little bit, so this is my first impressions. I'm gonna do a little look on this eye for you guys. So this is the palette right here. First off, it's not like any Morphe palette I've had before. It's a little bit thicker, and you can feel that the uh, um, plastic is thicker. It's a little bit more of a higher quality. Let's take a look inside. They're cool colors, I like them. Usually inside the Morphe palettes, you have this kind of flimsy plastic here but this is like the harder plastic so it looks a little bit more kind of professional I guess it doesn't look like any kind of makeup palette you can buy from Aliexpress so I saw online there was one thing that kind of made me not want to buy this and this was people saying that the colors were pretty much the vault collection which had some kind of negative reviews all kind of packed into one palette so I was like if that's the case then I don't want it but I bought it anyway, <laughs> so, so I swatched these colours out a little bit um, kind of concerning, the matte greens and the colours that the swatches um, kind of came out a little bit wish-washy, um, and they seem fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try it out on this side, we're going to try some of the shimmers and the mattes all together, I want to see how they blend, if they blend, um, and see how we get on. So, again, don't really know what I'm going for, but I'm sure I'll make some kind of look out of it. Alright guys, so I'm just going to start by slightly carving out my brow here. And this is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. Okay, so I'm looking at the palette and I'm thinking what kind of look I can do. And I kind of want to start putting some Halloween stuff up on my Instagram. So I'm looking at the greens and thinking maybe I can do like a you've just been poisoned kind of look. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Morphe M433 brush in the shade Stroke of Luck, which is like this matte, almost like, um, um, oh, I haven't even put a base on, Jesus Christ, whoops. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer, it's the Urban Decay Priming Potion in the shade Eden. Now will we use the shade Stroke of Luck? Yeah, so it's like a matte green. It's almost like a lime, but also khaki, I guess. Supplying very well, blending nicely, the colour builds up nicely, and the colours staying put. I was worried that if I go over, the colour's gonna kind of fade out. Um, you know, with some matte shades, like you go on top and then the colour just keeps disappearing. But no, this is actually staying quite well. Let's take it quite high up. Since we're doing like a Halloween y look, we can make it a little bit more theatrical. So I'm gonna take my Morphe M504 brush. I love this brush, it's like a massive blending brush, it's amazing. So we're going to go in with a shade Express Yourself, or Express Yourself, as it says in there, which is dumb, but that's fine. Let's keep that right into the socket here. I have to be honest with you guys, I am kind of nervous as I try these because I'm worried that it's not going to blend or that it's going to be patchy like the recent, um, Vulp, um, sorry, Vulp collection. But most of the eyeshadows I use are Morphe and I really like them and I've never had any issue with them. Um, sometimes the matte purple shades are a little bit crappy. Also, guys, do you say Morph or Morphe? Let's discuss that below, because I know that some people say morph. Oh, sorry, the lighting just changed. I'm going to go with my ma masked or masked. I guess if you're from the south of England, it's masked. <laughs> brush. This is a crease brush, and I'm using the shade Nude Tude. Which is definitely more like a khaki or green. I'm okay with that. And actually, let's take the shade Green with Envy, which actually kind of looks like a darker brown rather than a green. We'll pack that on here. Go back in and soften that up with our blending brush. So there's a shade in there called Bold Moves, which I think I know all the shades are green, but I feel like it's not a very nice um, shade to put in there. I could actually do without that one. I just want to try the shade Hello Sunshine, because it looks kind of... Hello 
interesting, but it looks like it wouldn't blend very well. Yeah, it's more like a yellowy kind of green. These are very um, subculture colours, aren't they? Kind of like the yellow and the green. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of um, khaki green eyes again. But it's nice. I quite like it. I actually <laughs> I actually prefer these colours and textures to the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow palettes. I'm not keen on their palettes altogether. So I've been dying to use the shade Popstar. So let's try this one. It's kind of a glittery one. I'm going to take it on an artificial hairbrush and let's just pop it in the middle here. It's kind of like a mix between a gold. It's a greeny gold, basically. Really nice texture. Let's give that a little blend. Going back in that green with Envy, just packing a little bit on there. Like if it goes stuck in here. So there's a shade light off the light? Mm, yeah, light of a party. Let's try that one. That's the lighter shade in there, it's kind of like a nude highlight. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That's a lot lighter than I expected it to be. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Express Yourself. I really, I do you know what, I actually hate the colour green, <laughs> like I think it's awful. But these colours are really, really nice, I really like them. I think I'm relieved that it isn't as crappy as that Vault collection, like it, it doesn't um, go patchy, it doesn't, um, the colour doesn't wash out when you go over it either. Take green with Envy, we'll just run it right along the lash line. The whole way across. Oh, my camera, it just sounds like my camera fart. <laughs> like a really wet fart. Gross. And then let's go with light of a party and let's just take that right into that corner there. You actually feel like that can be darker underneath. So let's take that, um, Green with Envy shade a little bit further down. A little blend again. I really like that. I think the greens look really, really nice. I'm gonna apply some lashes. I'm gonna use these from Cleo Beauty and these are called Sugar Daddy. All right, guys, so that is kind of the green selection from the Morphe 35M palette. I really like the textures, I really like the, um, the mattes. You have nothing to worry about with this one. It's nothing like that crappy Vault collection where it was like, you know, you put something on and it immediately comes straight off. I think this is kind of a good comeback. I think we can trust them again in terms of their 35 um, kind of group of palettes, if that makes sense. Again, I won't be getting like their limited collections like the Vault, anything like that, but I really, really do like this. I think the textures are nice. There is a tiny bit of fallout here. I don't know if you can see that, the, the palette is quite, I'm kind of dusty, but I did use a blending brush and I kind of whip it round. That's what I do when I get the colour. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. I think it's a really nice palette. I'm very happy. I bought it. I can't wait to try out these kind of purples and the deeper tones. I'm not so fussed about cranberry tones, maybe near Christmas. I hope that kind of put your mind at ease if you were thinking about ordering it, but are kind of a little bit scared because of a whole vault situation. I think we can leave that behind now. It's done. Yes, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Please subscribe for more views, tutorials, more views? reviews, tutorials, um, lessons, in-depth makeup tutorials, everything like that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Also, I will see you very soon. Bye.